Hi, this is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I'm Bobby. This is floss tube number 58. It is October 3rd, 2021. This is a channel about cross stitch, my website, a little bit about the closing Etsy store, and my fur babies. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. I'll have to record my intro after this because oh, this is happening right here. Must have been, I was trying to hurry up and finish some stitching <laughs> before I filmed. And um, it apparently got me winded. Okay. So, oh, let me get started with one thing before I forget because I forgot last week. So if you're ever, you know, flipping through YouTube on your phone, which I do watch um, videos a lot of times on my phone, like if I'm outside with the dogs, I have it playing so I can hear it. I don't really get to watch it because I gotta watch them. But um, I happened to just be, you know, scrolling and then, it, and then I stopped and did something and when I picked it back up, I laughed so hard if, does anybody watch Saltbox Stitcher, Carol? Um, so her heading, her picture is above where her name's at, but you can't see her thumbnail. You see an advertisement underneath it. And I thought, oh, that's awfully different for Carol. <laughs> so I took a picture of this because I thought it was hilarious and I wanted to share it because as soon as I picked it up I just fell out laughing because I was like oh my gosh that looks like Saltbox Stitcher has that as a thumbnail I mean I ain't complaining just saying <laughs> he didn't have a quilt so I assumed it was not her <laughs> so I just want to show y'all because that's funny and I also wanted to when I was flipping through the uh DIY uh, cross stitch people, stitch people, do it yourself stitch people. One of the pages I showed actually has um, a model in it by one of our fellow floss tubers, the ADHD stitcher, which she's actually in East Tennessee. And it's this one right here. So she let me know that I actually showed one of hers and I didn't, I don't put two and two together. So. <laughs> I made sure I got which one it was so I didn't have to dig through the whole thing and she showed me and how cute is that so I just wanted to give her a shout out that she got her a picture in a book love it love it so everybody have a good week mine was crazy I'm still fighting vertigo a little bit and I'm all right today which means tomorrow I probably won't be because it's time to drive at this point, I got to figure out, is it still my ears or now am I going to get anxiety about driving? Right? So annoying. Um, 
I was watching Courtney with Stitches Please, and she reminded me that we were gonna do a stitch along on a journal. But it took her journal a very, very long time to get here, and then I couldn't find mine. And I just wanted her to know I found it. And this is um, Bendy Stitchy and the Twisted Rabbit Creations did this amazing, I mean, just come on. Everything about this is amazing. But this journal, and I mean, you guys, I can't. So, and then the point is you stitch the pattern. And I'm stitching my, actually, I think Courtney's doing the same colorway. Fiberlicious Floss on Cafe Misto by Fiberlicious. And then it had all of the kind of goodies in here. So I'm glad I found that because I don't we haven't really set a time when we're gonna do this, but like anything else, it's it's a start along and we do what we can. So but yo court, I found it. <laughs> And I'll probably lose it again now that I just stuck it right there. Okay, I was a very bad, bad, bad person. I did not take things out of plastic. Let me do that real quick. Um, I may have to change some of my subscription soon. So my husband just has this church gig. And that's when we decided to get him a new truck, because he needed one, and the church gig was making the payment on the truck, well, it may be coming to an end. Now, he can probably get another church gig, and it's probably fine, but it makes me immediately go, okay, so I need, Sugar Mama needs to stop spending all the money like she got all the money. So, I did do my Linux stitches bag for the next quarter, and... I did my November bag for Stitch Toolbox, but I think both of those are gonna have to go away for a while, um, which makes me nervous because I don't, I don't know if it's like, once I'm off the list, it'll be hard to get back on. Um, but that's what happens. I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, and then I'd already said that Fortnite Fabrics, that I wasn't gonna continue theirs once. Um, the Famous Duos and the, uh, 12 shades of gray um, are done. I'm going to keep my floss and my fabric from Forbidden Fiber Co. until I get a few more, um, at least of the fabric, so I get some more in my stash of her fabric. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with Be Stitch Me. So, but towards the beginning of the year, that may change, I don't know. I'm gonna have to stop buying Volcano stitch <laughs> Stitching. Uh, fabric for just a while, you know, just, just until I feel comfortable again. Speaking of Brandy, so this is the September Color Club 2021 Fabric of the Month. It's called Pumpkin Patch. I get 18 count. It is gorgeous. So beautiful. And then I'm also part of a neutral. And this is after the harvest and I get neutral in 20 count Ada. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. So pretty. So I love the fabric. So kind of, you know, but. And then I did stop my silk of the month with her. So this is probably my last silk of the month. Cause I got a pretty nice little selection now. So, um, this one is all lit up. So these look like they're all like oranges and stuff. Pumpkin patch. That's pretty. Paprika. Pumpkin. And mild sauce. <laughs> it's the mild sauce packet. Taco Bell. <laughs> Love it. Uh, so this is all the September Be Stitch Me. And again, love all the things. I don't want to stop all the things, but yeah, it's more important not to be stressed with money. 
especially since I'm making a transition to a website versus Etsy, where to be honest, Etsy is kind of um, passive money making because Etsy does all the advertising, whereas for the website, it's just me, um, which a part of me wanted that. So it slows down just a little bit to where it's way more manageable for me. But during that time frame and still trying to add stuff to the shop while I'm closing Etsy on the weekends and trying to slowly get stuff off of Etsy, um, you know, shop ain't making hand over fist because, well, number one, I keep buying shit to put in the shop. <laughs> All my money for the shop goes back into the shop. It, I mean, that's obvious, I'm sure. <laughs> um, all right, so I got some volcano stitching. This is their, she did her um, treasure night and it was like half and half. This one's called jack-o'-lantern. I just thought these were really cool. Now, I my options are I can either cut them in half or I can stitch something in the middle. And that looks like candy corn to me. <laughs> so, so I have some options of how I want to do it. Um, they don't have names. These are 18 count. I love that. It's my two favorite colors. Green's my favorite. Purple second. And this one's a, this one I have an idea for. I've got some really cool, um, like I don't have really cool. I do have some cool bee patterns, but I want to find like a really big bee that's monochromatic. And I want to do it like, like a black bee up here and the yellow bee half down here, vice versa, you know, whatever, or put his top half as a yellow and his bottom half as black, whatever, to make it like, I don't know, just something cool and different. So I got ideas. I just got to find the perfect fat pattern for that. All right. Oh, and Fawn, I've not forgotten you. I just haven't mailed out your pattern yet. I apologize. I kept forgetting to take it to work because it can go into a regular envelope of regular stamp and it's good. And then I kept forgetting to bring it to work where my stamps are at because I leave them there so that I can mail stuff. I need to leave them here and there. I need to switch it up. Okay. So Sam from Sam, Sammy Liz, she kills me. So she buys things and then they show me her, Leanne and Sarah both are huge enablers. Um, they're my Hawk Run Hollow, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow girls. And we're in a um, group chat and we're constantly chit chatting. Um, and unfortunately I miss Sarah. She was in my neighborhood, not my neighborhood, but 25 minutes down the road, 25, 30 minutes down the road from me on Friday night. And I couldn't get to her because I can't drive. And I'm like, <laughs> that's sad, but it's fine. Well, it's, I'm sure she only lives in Memphis. It's not that far away. <laughs> um, Oh, and my calendar just remind me that puppy preschool is Tuesday. It is puppy graduation. My Lucian will graduate from puppy school. Yes, he's turd. All right, so this website, it's on Etsy, and it's called the shop is called Stitching Spell. You guys, I love a good Quaker. How amazing is that? And I got mine on sale. The sale's not on anymore. They were only $5. They're only $5 and something, but I got mine for like 3 bucks. So, it's worth it. And then the other one, just kidding, I got three. <laughs> and, then, and then I got this Quaker-ish. I mean, oh, I love this so much. So many things about it. I love it. And then the other one I got is just super funky, and there's two reasons. Number one it's the Egyptian, <laughs> the walk like an Egyptian skeletons on it, and this cat hanging off of a broom. So, those immediately caught me because it's hilarious. I just now noticed that that's a snake. That is hilarious. And then that is hilarious. And then the moth, death, deadhead moth are pretty cool. But that is so funny. Um, so yeah, it was like, I mean, it's three, it was three dollars. So I was like, yeah, I'm totally getting that. Even if I only stitch like this motif in something or just these guys, you know what I mean? So I mean, these are cool too. Don't get me wrong. It's just, there was a couple of things that just absolutely, um, and this is not going to leave my screen. I am so sorry. That was going to drive me nuts. And I'm sure my big hand in the way 
it was super fun for you guys. <laughs> All right, still got haul. These, this will get less and less as we go through. Okay, I don't even know what this is. Oh, Fortnite fabrics. So these are um, September's. The duo, famous duos, is peanut butter and jelly. And you can't, the brown's not showing up very well on here. It looks gray, but it's like a tan brown. It's perfect. I mean, it's a peanut butter color. But you can't. I hate that about fabric. You guys just can't see how good it is. Um, and I'm sorry, I put these back in here because the tag's not attached. I don't never know what it is. I don't know what is up with my face. Look how red it's getting. I'm in my Squatchy shirt, which I explained. My uh, Vlogoween first video is up already. It's like 40 minutes long. I don't know what my problem is. Um, so it's two days, so I just I had to put that up by itself because it could not be smushed on the end of this one. But day three is on the end of this one, and I now think that I am much going to be much faster. Like I got got my shit together, figured out what I was doing. We good now. Um, this is the twelve shades of gray. This is called Pick Me, Choose Me. It's just a really really pretty gray. It's not that hot up here. Like, I am slightly concerned that I look like <laughs> I got hit in the face. It is what it is. Okay, so that was Fortnite. And then this one is, oh, yeah, I got a note from my girl Jess from Fire Poppies. Um, so, I went to order Whisper for cryptids, which I said I was going to do, for his show, uh, infilled for his shoulders and his chest and I did that but it can't travel by itself I mean it was like a two dollar whatever so <coughs> let me see if I figure out I got little notes in here so this is a Fortnite fabrics it's a 32 count Lugana it's called pompous did I feel like I showed this did I show all those before and didn't move them out of here. If I showed these last week, I am so sorry. But. No, I couldn't have showed them last week. I think I got this on Monday or Tuesday. When did I order it? What's the date on here? I don't know. September 24th. When was that? Yes, I'm just taking all this time to try to figure out. So the 24, wrong month. Yeah, we cool. Yeah, I didn't show these because I didn't have them yet. Pompous. I got these in just like a, an eighth. Um, so Fortnite Fabric, they sell stuff on their website and then they have exclusives that they sell to shops, which I'm going to look into that carrying them possibly. Um, I just gotta, can't carry everything, you know. I mean, Lord knows I try. Um, and then this is 16 Count Ada by Seraphim. Seraphim, it's uh, prairie grass. That's just a good little neutral. I don't have many neutrals, so I try to Get what I can when I can. I mean. And I had a hard time because like. Lin I'm really in love with some linen colors. It's just I'm not going to stitch on them. So like I can't. Um, and this last one. I am in love with. Um, this is Under the Sea. This is Under the Sea. It's 16 Count Ada. It's called Anubis. And, um, you guys. 
this fabric. So I got a quarter yard of this. I got an eighth of the other ones. I mean, I don't know what's going to go on this fabulousness, but man, it is gorgeous. And I almost hate when something's this pretty because then I don't want to use it. <laughs> but also love it because then it just sits and then all of a sudden like the perfect project comes up. I mean, it's just gorgeous. My husband's yelling at the dogs. What? Hey. What? Hey. Not yet. I'm in the middle of filming. He's asking me if I fed the cats. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Oh, I think my face just got really red. Ooh. I'm mad. Am I mad? I'm not mad. I just have to yell because he's on one side of the house and there's a stairway and I'm on the back side. So, like, I have to yell loud enough to go out there. And that was probably really loud to you guys. I apologize. So, I have to yell. So, it goes out there and then down the stairs and around the corner to where he's yelling at me from the kitchen. We read that. That's what happens when it's two people in a big house. He could have just text me, but he likes to yell. <laughs> Whatever. I text. <laughs> okay, so I got Linux stitches. She had, um, she let me know that there were some bags I needed to pay attention to, and I'm glad she did. So I got this is one of her custom bags that she, you know, um, I don't want to say it's custom, but kind of. So she makes up some bags and then she puts them on Instagram, Lynn X Stitches. And um, I got to grab this one. And look how amazing they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. I even love that the like, even the fishy are skeleton. I love it. I love this bag. Let me put it right there. Super safe. Okay, so the next one is my October bag from Anna at Toolbox, or Stitch Toolbox, sorry. Sorry, Anna. Um, we got, we always get a pattern by Twin Peak Primitives in it, and this pattern is so good. <laughs> it's got a glare, sorry. It is so good. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And then we get some, oh, is that candy? I could have ate that already. Um, little trim, cute little needle minder, and I believe those are candy in there. And then there's, oh no, that's a paper clip. Oh, I need a minder. Maybe there's something else attached there. Anyways, little bags of cuteness. And then here's the bag. That's the back. How awesome is that? Um, my psycho's house. I'm sure I would know the other ones if I stopped and looked. And then that's the inside. Which I love. It's an awesome bag. And I will hate to not give them, but I also have a ton. And I also feel like um, I keep having bags. I keep filling them up with stuff and not getting finishing projects in them. This is a giveaway from last week. Um, I guess I need to do that drawing. Actually, I'm going to do it next week. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it next week. Um, really... <laughs> I mean, if people can go back and watch last week's and see what the word was and put it in if they want to. Um, but it was a answering a question that at this point, I've already made the decision, but it's okay. You can still. So this is an exclusive to uh, Needlework Expo uh, by Tiny Modernist. So I will give somebody another week, give people a chance to watch. I'm only doing that because like normally I don't, but I'm so behind on mine that when they do giveaways, I'm like, oh man. I kind of wanted that. Okay. So, what all have I done? 
nothing. I'm kidding. I did haul. Yeah, I did haul. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I don't have a ton of stitching to show. And Leanne is to blame for that. I'm forbidden fiber coat. <laughs> All right. So we'll start off with my cryptid. We got a new cryptid released. Let me show. Um, it's the Jersey Devil. Uh, that's my photos. It's not going to be in my photos. It's in my books. You know. I do what I can. And that was the actual pattern, so we don't want to do that. He's so cute. <laughs> so that's the next one that was released on Friday. Um, and I didn't get much done on them because Leanne happened. But. Oh, I, I got interrupted so much on this one that my needle is not even to the back side. I always finish with my needle to the back and then I put it on the back of the needle miner because then the way I fold my stuff, the needle's not sticking out front and get hung on stuff, but whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's as far as I got on that frame, but what I didn't get to show y'all, can y'all tell he has a hairy chest? <laughs> he has a hairy chest. Let's get 3D. <laughs> and he's got his hairy shoulders. Um, and this is absolutely made by the devil. This whisper. Mm-hmm. The devil himself makes that and sells it to craft stores. Oh, you guys. But if you have something small like this, it's it's I think it's worth it. Go ahead and, and um just fighting and crying through it. And, um, cause it, it, it's worth it, but I'm loving the frame on this one. I love its corner. Cause the other ones, like all the frames have a little bit different corners, which I love, but, um, this one, I'm kind of feeling it. And I think it does have color in there. I kind of wish it didn't cause I'm kind of digging it just having a, you know, punched out area, but. I didn't design it, so. So now I've got, I'm gonna work on him. Work on the Jersey Devil. Probably at work this week. I really need to start floss tube friends, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the, oh, that's the other thing I did. I'm gonna get the, um, the Jersey Devil done. I think this will probably be the one I'm going to hold up just because well, you'll see I don't have much on the other ones to show. But anyways, um, I also did <laughs> like two more rows of this, not two more rows, two pyramids of this. Um, just trying to catch it up down to the bottom up here in, in the off time to, <laughs> that I have. All right. My puppy's crying downstairs and my husband's probably going to yell at him and y'all are going to hear that. That is what it is. Okay. So, if you watch my vlog of Ween, which is, we've decided now, um, we're going to, I should rename it, regret a, regret a Ween, because all it does is make everybody else regret they didn't get the box, right? Or make them bummed out they didn't get the box. So, bummer Ween. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in one of my, um, advent boxes is the, um, Forbidden Fiber Co. And this is, this is going to be a little bit of a repeat of what you're going to see, um, from yesterday and what you'll see at the end of this. But she did the pattern, released it in black and white. And then the way it works is all the floss is in, um, numbered bags. And so you don't know what your pattern's gonna look like color-wise until you open them all up. So I have opened three of them and this is what has put me behind on all my other stitching. Um, this, all this stuff over here has been stitched three times. 
Some of this has been had to be added in and fixed. I had to add in and move a bunch of stuff here. I, I jacked up this whole thing and then I had to go back and figure out what needed to be taken out and put in and all the things. And so now I got it though. We good. Um, oh, my poor puppy. But anyways, so that's where I'm at on that. And, uh, that was the first color, that was the second color, and that was the third color, that little bit that I got in there. So it's all Leanne's fault that I didn't get any of my other stuff done. Because this was not planned. This was not a planned start. <laughs> Nothing. And I opened the box on Friday night and I was like, ooh, I should not open all the colors and I should try to stitch at least some of each one. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm having a ball, even though I've had to rip it out and cuss it 52 times. I am, I do enjoy it. So, okay. This next is a new start and a whip-ish. I guess all new starts are whips unless you finished them. This again goes back to my girl, Sam. So I had said with the Autumn Lane, let me take this out of the plastic. Autumn Lane Stitchery, they're the collectors that I was 100% doing that. Sorry, guys. And, um, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to start like the week of Halloween. Well, I knew Sam was doing it too. And, but hers, like when hers came in, like she, it, she didn't know when she'd get her fabric in and the fabric came in and then she was like, I'm starting it. I was like, well, now I got to start it. <laughs> so this is the collectors and, um, I'm going to read a little story. This will be my little, my little, um, oh, let me get the pattern out of here first. This will be my little um, ghosty, haunted -y story for October. It's not that scary, folks. For uh, Since we're in October now. So, The Forsaken Forest Files. A history of the collectors. <laughs> Very little is known about the collectors. The information compiled has been gathered through various handwritten accounts. Though the facts are hard to confirm, no one has encountered the collectors and lived to tell the tale. I'm about to give him a cat. According to various sources, three women by the name of Sarah Godfrey, Susan Owens, and Tiffany Windsor were accused of witchcraft during the Salem Witch Trials. The first self-proclaimed witch, Tatuba, claimed she had signed the Devil's Book with her own blood and had seen the marks of Godfrey, Owens, and Windsor there beside her own. The townsfolk hunted these three women down and burned them alive on Gallows Hill in Salem Town in the fall of 1692. <laughs> <It's key. laughs> You're very distracting. These three women were innocent of the crimes they were so hatefully accused of. However, evil finds a way and their fate turned. As the women writhe in the agony being bur burned alive, the evil of this extremely heinous act fused together with the seething hatred of the people of Salem and a piece of each of the woman's souls was I have a hard time with that word, malevolently ripped away as they died. These evil fragment souls somehow found their way to the forsaken forest where the devil helped them take shape and they became the three demonic creatures known as the collectors. It is said that they roam the woods, stealing the soul from any human they come in contact with, forever doing the devil's work. I love that Aaron put a story with it. So that is them. So you have the three. Okay, and so I had said before that Aaron, I either heard somebody else say this, uh, or maybe heard Aaron say it, I don't know. But the premise of this is for these background colors to be very close to the shade of your fabric so that it gives you the dimension and it blends in. Well, I didn't want to do it on this fabric. Because, <laughs> you know me, only child, gotta do it my way. So, all those fabrics that I showed, the problem I had, because I had one person vote and tell me they liked the second one the best, and I'll be honest with you, so did I. Problem was finding two other tones that worked with it that would help with that um, blending shadow. And I, I couldn't. It would have looked like a lemon meringue pie. It wasn't going to work. 
So I went with the one where we could find something. And I think it's going to work out good. So I got, all I did was, um, I basically stitched, I think this first, yeah, I stitched like this first branch right here and up this tree just a little bit. And then I got this branch in here. Um, so, and it's the closer one, dimension wise. So it's, nope, it's the further one that's furthest away. Good Lord. And so it's the lighter of the two. Is that true? No, it's the darker of the two. Did I do that wrong? <sighs> no, okay, that tree's darker, but she's lighter. Okay, sorry. The tree is darker than her. The tree is as dark as this one. Anyways, because the colors were 500 and 501, and so for 500, I substitute uh, 37, this is DMC, 3740, and for 501, I substituted 3041. So for the color 500, I substituted 3740. And then the other one got substituted with this. And this is on 18 count. Sorry, all my stuff now is all over the place. 18 count XG Design, which is brew. And I think it's gonna work. So, that is the darker of the two purples. And I think once I get, um, it may look a little weird in the lighter spots, but um, of course I know that black right now just looks like it's so bold. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna work. Let me fold it in half where you can't see through it. So I think that's gonna look great. Um, yeah. It's like you can't tell what that is. I feel like Wilson. Anybody watch Home Improvement? I feel like Wilson looking over the fence. Howdy, neighbor. All right. So that was all the stitching they got accomplished because of Leanne. <laughs> It's a good thing, man. Don't worry. <laughs> but, yeah, I just was, I mean, I was trying, I mean, it doesn't look like I did much. I was, that's a lot of stitches in that little piece that I got done on uh, Forbidden Fiber Co's. So, all right. Plans? I don't have any. <laughs> Cause I didn't do the plans I had last week. I was supposed to be, um, my plan was to do the, um, work on that little church by to garden, cottage, whatever. Um, for my mom to get started on that for Christmas. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. All right. All right, so I'm going to do cryptid real quick, and then I've got some real quick shop haul to run through to show you what came to the shop, um, the website now. This is only available on the website, but let's do cryptid first, and I have failed at my conversations. I have five conversations <laughs> on Instagram. I have failed. Oh, Heather. She, Luna. I almost said Luna again. Um, Artemis. Oh, she's getting so big. Yeah, that's Punky Pearls. That's their cat. It's her first cat I think she's ever had. It's actually, I think, her daughter's cat, but it's neither here nor there, right? Okay. 
Does anybody remember? Oh, I remember we did the Vampire Muscle Brown. So now we are in Pennsylvania. And it's the Squawk. <laughs> Y'all, I can't do that. Uh, cats are fighting. The Squawk. Oh, it's, oh, and it keeps saying it a bunch of times too. <laughs> The squonk <laughs> lives in the hemlock forest of Pennsylvania. Squonks are rather insecure. Oh, poor guys. Its most notable feature being that it's always crying. Oh, it has saggy skin that's covered in warts. But hey, that's no reason to be ashamed. It's slowest on moonlight nights, being cautious in case it sees its reflection in illuminated bodies of water. This is so sad. When the squonk is cornered or when surprised or scared, the squonk can dissolve itself into tears. And someone said, I wish I could do that. That's so sad. Okay, this is the dossier. The squonk. North location, Northern Pennsylvania. Appearance has ability to escape captivity by crying itself into a pool of water and dripping away. Has saggy, ill-fitting skin that's covered in warts. I think I'm so sad. Why are we fighting out here? That's Arlo hissing at Skeeter Ray because Skeeter Ray's trying to play and Arlo don't want to play no more because Arlo's being a boo-boo head. And Skeeter says, I just want to play. And so Arlo's up high and Skeeter is jumping up and trying to wrap his arms around Arlo's neck and bring him down. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, so let me scoop this over here. And I failed at... Oh yeah, I hear you. A little turd too. Okay. I failed at bringing an extra box, but that's fine. So this is only in the website. Which is www.pumpkincreekprimitives.com Dot com. So, I got Wicked Woods Fiber 30 Count Linen by, by the Primitive Hair. And this is printed... If I can get it open and that is upside down and you can see through it but this is what it looks like is that upside down wait what do we got going oh maybe you can do it in half no that writing's right sorry it looks like it's upside down the writing at the top but nope so it's really cool this is my piece, so it will never get back folded the way that she folds it. Um, now that I said that, um, it probably will. <laughs> so, and then I got some uh, more Old Salem 30 count, which is like almost all of her patterns are on that. Yeah, I am not even trying to get that situated again. All right, I'll set that right there. And then I've got from Glendon Place, Poltergeist Pirates, which is amazing. And all these, those are, those three are buttons. That's a button, that's a button, that's a button. And there's two, that's a button. And there's something else on here. It's a button. Uh, oh, wait. That's not a button. What are the brown buttons? I don't see where the brown buttons go. And wham. Okay. It's fine. But look, there's a shark. <laughs> right, let me just take it out. I can't tell. Trying to talk about how gorgeous this pattern is, and it's all glary, and you're just like, whatever, lady. Look at that shark. 
Oh, I love it. But it's so cute. So, I sell it in kit form. So you get the Sullivan threads that it calls for. You get the petite silk braid that it calls for. And, still trying to figure out what the little brown things are. They look like little, oh, they're mice. Oh, there must be mice on the ship. And then you get the button pack. Okay, so we're gonna have to look at this again. Hmm. I don't see no mice. Am I just old? I mean, I think I see one there. Right there. I don't see the other one, but that's okay. He in there somewhere. But yeah, super cute. So this is mine. Um, I ordered me one because I'm definitely, this hit me like uh, my big fabulous bird did. Of course, you saw how, long, how far I got on that, right? If you've been here for a while, you know what I'm talking about. If you're new, I don't know how to finish things. <laughs> That's the takeaway from this. All right, so this is mine, so I'm gonna set it over there so I don't get it confused. All right, so I got some new ones from the Primitive Hair. This is P is for pumpkin. Oh, so cute. We got few have died, and I need to stitch this and put it in my kitchen for all year round. It says many have eaten here, few have died. <laughs> I love it. Haunted and out of candy. Super cute. She put it on her fancy skull fabric. Hi, buddy. Sleepy Hollow. Which, speaking of which, I did not get the Starlight Stitchery Sleeping Hollow box because I didn't get to go look for it until 15 minutes after 1. It started at 1 and the dogs were needing to go outside. So I didn't even get to get on until 1.15 and it was sold out. So it sold out in less than 15 minutes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not mad about it. All right. Twin Peak Primitives. Holy Night at Haxby Al Abbey. I don't think I probably said it right. How cute is that, though? She does so good. Look at the detail of the little bitty teeny tiny tan. I, I don't... I tried to do one pattern, and I was going to have... Becca from Sambury Stitches do a model stitch on it. I'm still working on that. Becca, by the way. My angry daisy. And for me to get any type of detail, it's like this big. Who the hell wants a daisy that big? Um, Twin Peak Primitives Witchcraft Room. Which is so cute. And then this is my copy, too. This, is, um, this was a limited edition. Twin Peak Primitives. They released it. I don't know. If it's still going to be limited edition, because they decided to go ahead and release it because of the outstanding um, response that they got. But Haunted House Sampler. And so this is my copy. I mean, I know Emily C. is going to start it and she switched hers out for some fancy. I'm just going to do mine in the DMC. Um, oh, I love it. Throw that back over there with mine. This is also Twin Peak Primitives. This is Twin Peak Santa 2021. Look at him with his little robin. I, I mean, I'm assuming that's a robin. Um, I know we don't have robins here in the winter time, but. So cute. Of course, they're not from here. Are they, Bobby? Uh, <laughs> Twin Peak Primitives Honest Abe Sampler. So this is the Abraham Lincoln Sampler. That's pretty cool. Then we have Happily Ever After. Can somebody tell me? I'm sure it's from a book. I'm sure it's like a Pride and Prejudice thing and I'm just missing out on what it is. Um, so if y'all know, tell me below. But yeah, isn't that pretty? Again, I'm a sucker for houses. Okay, so 
Jacob been holding out on us. Um, I did not realize that he had done some patterns under dark, dark crosses and I need to get more. I just happened to get these two. Um, so yeah, Jacob Modern Folk Embroidery. He did a few patterns under dark crosses, which is amazing. And this one's called All Are Equal in Death. It's so good. And this one is The Cranky Owl. So good. <laughs> oh, he's so mad. Okay, and this is, I don't, this is the only pattern I have by them. It's the Calico Confectionery. And this one's called Spooky Halloween. And it is, like, super cute. I love it. And then we have a little situation that is going to get a little confusing for some of you folks. I mean, maybe not. Maybe it's just confusing for me. But Fox and Rabbit, they have their own, um, sorry, squeaky chair. They have their own floss tube and they dye fabric. They are also the Blackberry Rabbit. But at Needlework Expo, they're in Australia, but Needlework Expo, they released their next two patterns, which look just like they're um, in the series along with um, the Blackberry Rabbit. They have now, I guess they're moving to be Fox and Rabbit designs. Um, I don't know if the everything designed under Blackberry Rabbit will stay that way. The ones they sent me still say Blackberry Rabbit. So you will find them on my website. If you're looking under designer, you'll have to look for Fox and Rabbit and Blackberry Rabbit. Um, because I got to put what's on the pattern. So this is Ladies Who Lunch. So cute with the ladybugs. And then this one is Lady Queen. And so she has a dragonfly. We have a monarch butterfly. We have a bee. But they're all under Blackberry Rabbit. And this is under Fox and Rabbit. All right. Then I got... <laughs> I feel like I messed up this one last time. Because um, I want to say Senorita, but it's not. There's no N in the beginning. Serenta, Serenia, Serentia, Serenata de Campania. It's Italian. And this is Halloween labels. They're so cute. Same one. Same designer. Halloween life. Look at those mice. <laughs> They're so cute. Love it. Is she put in a frog. Look at that big fat frog she's putting in that cauldron. <laughs> so cute. Then we've got Little Stitch Girl. This is part of the Meow the Marrier. This is Gatekeeper. How stinking cute is that little cat with the lizard hat? And then we got Nikki's Creations. This is Embroidery Halloween. I have a bunch of these, but I don't think, not all of them are listed. She's got a bunch of different embroidery and stitch houses. Um, Heart and Hand Square Dance. This is number three. I only have Halloween number three, so I got to figure out how to get the other ones because these are cute. So cute. I got Pineberry Lane, Cats and Jacks, which is so cute. The jack-o'-lanterns and the kitty cats. I love Pineberry Lane. And this one's by Collection Tra La La. It's Agra Abracadabra. Love it. Then we have Jardin and Preve, um, Lady Halloween. How awesome is she? I love this pattern. Love it. She's got a mouse and a frog at her feet. And then the kitty cat and a spider. Oh, so cute. And a bat. I don't know what that other thing is. Still don't know what that other thing is. 
Oh, another fox and rabbit. This was part of the Meow the Marrier cat magic. That Siamese cat is so cute. Let me get that in my pile. There we go. And then we have, I think it's Little Violet, but Lilla Voletta. Anyways, it's also Italian, but the name of the pattern is um, Heart of France, but there's an Italian designer. That's so cute. So, that is all the stuff I got added this weekend. Just another reason why stitching is not what it should be. Happens. Business gets in the way. But, yep. Okay, so next, there will be a little um, video of Lucian being a turd. <laughs> it's just a short video, it's not really doing anything. Um, and then after that, will be my vlog and ween for day three, what I did this morning at 6 a.m. It's awesome. I look the same, but super tired. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And hopefully, um, maybe what I'll do is like, depending on how long all the video, the vlogoween videos are, maybe just smush them all together on Saturdays and release those. And then uh, Sundays will always be at the end of this one. So then um, maybe the people that watch the floss tube and actually watch it and be like, oh, maybe I wanna go back and watch the other one. Cause I can't, I don't want this to be like two hours. Um, I know I've done that, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'd like for you to be able to view in one viewing versus 20, just saying. <laughs> so, um, I know I'm forgetting things because I'm bad about writing things down. Um, I know I want to, um, there's a couple, there's a new floss tuber that I've been watching and I can't think it's Zen stitch or Zen craft. I can't think she's in Chicago. She only got three floss tubes. Um, I like her cause she rattles like I do. She just talks about all kinds of stuff and then shows some stitching. <laughs> so I enjoy it. Um, and then I watched the, uh, bougie stitchers. They, um, their new one and they have mustaches. Somebody sent them mustaches and it is amazing. I'm super jealous that I don't have mustaches. Um, but they gave me a shout out. I was their favorite person for the week. And I think it's awesome because, you know, they're one of my favorite peeps all the time. Um, yeah. And then they were like, you actually watch us. Yeah, girls, I watch you. <laughs> Every week. Every time you drop a video, I watch. Um, sometimes I'm really bad about not commenting. I'm trying to be better. It just most of the time, um, if I'm doing office stuff, I have it going on the big screen and I don't have a way to comment. And then let's be honest, after I've watched 15, I forget to go back and like and um, put comments. So what I try to do is if somebody says something really funny and I'm like, okay, I have to say something, then I try to immediately pull it up on my computer while I'm still watching it on the big screen and then um, type in. So sometimes I'm really good about it. Sometimes not so great. <laughs> so I do my best. I do my best. Um, all right. So Next week, we'll do the um, Nutcracker Tree giveaway. Um, go back and watch previous if you want to be entered to win that. And um, I don't think anything huge is coming up this week other than puppy school graduation, which is a huge deal. But outside of that, I think it's just a normal, normal, normal week. Let's hope so. With hopefully lots of stitching. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful stitchy week. And I'll see you later. Bye. See that pup right there being super cute he's been running through mud puddles his whole underbelly is so muddy and now he is laid down and he has refused to go potty because he'll have to go inside and he don't want to go inside but mommy's got things to do so now it's kennel time to take a nap but being a punk, your brother already went inside and went in his kennel like a good boy. I need you to go potty, you turd. Hello. Wow, that sounds really chipper, but I'm not. I'm so tired. <laughs> 
It is 6 a.m. on Sunday, October 3rd. Um, I am still in my squatchy because I filmed the last vlogoween at like, I don't know, 7 o'clock at night, something like that. So I just slept in my shirt and now I'm just waking up this morning. So I didn't change. And I, Arlo's coming. And I didn't, I think I want to wear this for my floss tube so I said, fork it. <laughs> For all those, oh. really? I'm just gonna stand in front of me and let everybody look in your ear. Does your ears look good? Do they look good? I think they look good. Let's not, you can't, no, you can't lay on my scratch and stuff. Um, anyways, I literally was gonna say for all those that are fans of, and then the show name just completely left me. There's, and I know y'all are yelling at me with Kristen Bell, where, you know. She always says fork it. Anyways. Okay. Because it's too early to be cussing. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. Okay. So, we have almond M&M's. And what I'm going to do this time, which I didn't do on the last one, but I can go back and do it. I'm going to link their websites. So, for all three Advent um situations that I have. I'm going to link their websites on these just in case because you know you don't have to get an advent box but you see all the great things and you can go and I'm sure the Black Needle Society once everything has been open they'll have extras a lot of times they put that out there in the vault so you can still buy stuff. Sorry. Got the itchy ear and the yawnings. So I'm sure you can go buy stuff after the fact there from the vault. I know I did on that midnight garden something another retreat I missed it because I didn't know they existed back when they sold oh I don't want to say I didn't know they existed I didn't realize that how much I needed it um back when they were selling that box because the first one I bought was the frog warts even though I'm not a fan of Harry Potter but I had FOMO okay almond m &Ms. give me here this is day three it's a cute little packaging Come on out. Ooh. And this one's called pumpkin pie. So pretty. These are silks. So pretty. I need to do a conversion of her stuff on a on a pattern. Cause I have I have a good little chunk. And I um I haven't used them yet. They're so pretty. I don't want to unwind them. Okay. I forgot. A bag so I'm not gonna stop this recording I'm just gonna hold tight and I will edit it out maybe if you're lucky it's 6 a.m. who knows So I had to get my Forbidden Fiber Co. Because, so we have the not in color pattern. And your colors are a surprise. So yesterday, our color, well I guess so far, we got Pond Scum. And then we got Haunted. And so I put in some Haunted. And you guys don't even want to know so, so yeah so I put in haunted and in doing that I realized that this is all off <laughs> I can't catch a break when it comes to counting I just I don't know I think I'm doing too much when I'm also trying to stitch so like I'm not focusing it's not going to be a huge area a situation so like my problem is I need to add one stitch to a bunch of this over here I mapped it out last night and then some of this is gonna have to be shifted over so like I'll have to take some stitches out here to shift over but like I think for the most part I'll still be able to keep a lot of stitches in um, so yeah some of these will go and then I'll have to add back to these because I shorted them 
when I realized there was a problem because I wasn't sure how I was going to fix it. So, but so far, that's what it is. Now, so let's see. Number three. My face looks bloated. I noticed that last night on the thing. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This is a midnight sky. It's really pretty. Okay. Midnight sky is a target. Yep. Looks kind of like a target. So, this is just because I'll need to know ahead of time. Or I'll get all bummy. Um, oh, yeah, sweet. So, the target is on some of this side. So, I will need to fix this before I start putting that in. So, I may or may not be caught up with putting this in by tomorrow night. We'll see. I have other, another start I have to do, so I don't have to, but you know what I mean. So, yeah. So far, they're flowing really nice to where I can, um, just start putting in a few stitches of each color so I can see the color start to come to life. I like it. Okay, so I gotta put that aside because I have to fix it. I think I'm gonna fix it when I'm done filming before Chad has to leave for his morning, Sunday morning gig. And then, and I take the dogs outside. And then I can stitch a little bit because I think I only have photos to take. And then upload the listings and attach the photos. So I think I'm pretty much ahead of the game. Three for Black Needle Society, the trick or treat. Oh, got some fiberlicious silks. We got Woods Witch, which is one of my favorites. I think the one I have is a little darker than that, but that I have in my store. Red Bordeaux, which I do not have in my store. That's gorgeous. Fossil, which I have. Creamsicle, which I do not have in my shop. And bronze olive, which I do not have in my shop, which matches me. <laughs> so those are cute. I like that I got to see some that I don't already have because I may need to, to carry them. That red Bordeaux is gorgeous. So yeah. And then I really think my Woods Witch is darker. But that's just how it is when you're dying. But I love Woods Witch. It's so pretty. I think I used it for um, the Zimmerman coverlet, maybe, is what I started with that, I think. I think I did. Because I didn't have them in the shop, I got all those silks, and I stole 10 of those immediately. They didn't even go in the shop, and then I reordered and put them in the shop. <laughs> so, all righty. So, I guess we're gearing up for, I got my fabric. Got my floss. So I guess we're gearing up for a project. So let me scratch this off. And let me just be faster about it. This time you'll just see my shaking body. And I'm probably shaking that camera to death. Hopefully it's got the anti-shake on it. Because this, it's on a more wobbly setup in here. All right. Thread Pack by Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. Collected, nope, called for <laughs> by the designer, specifically fibers for your first kitted Halloween project. Oh, that word is specially. Sorry, I didn't get all the... <laughs> I was like, that doesn't even make sense. Called for by the designer, specially fibers for your first kitted Halloween project. Specialty fibers. 
All right, so that is, wraps up day three. This will be, well, you will already know that this is at the end of my floss too because you will have already watched my floss too if you're watching this. So, hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye.